From one deeks to aces to insane clutches, the PGL Major and Krakow did not disappoint bringing fans crazy plays that made mouths drop, or in some cases made you curse Gaben, depending on who you had in Pick'em Rip Gold Trophies. <laughs> CSGO Empire is the leading site for fun entertainment in the CS community. Deposit some of your skins, place bets on which of these three coins you think will win, and withdraw something much better. Go check it out with the link in the description and you can use our code GUIDES to get 50 cents for free on CSGO Empire. The recent major in Krakow, Poland saw 16 of the best Counter-Strike teams battle it out over 8 days to determine the champions of the world. A big congratulations to Gambit on winning it all, and here are our top 10 plays of the 11th CSGO Major. Going at number Number 10, we have the 1v3 clutch from the king of clutches himself, Zipix of Astralis. Unless he can clutch it, he's going for it. He's got the first shot and he got the second as well. Zipix on Inferno never ceases to amaze. Astralis was up 6 to 3 over G2 in round 4 of the group stage on T side of Inferno. G2 was retaking A site with three of their players alive as opposed to the lonely Zipix. The Danish rifler quickly killed Apex on site, snapped to the right in one tap shocks, and then sprayed down body up close. The most impressive part, however, was the amount of time he took to do it. Just over five seconds. Welcome to the clutch. Only Zipix. It'll be back to back rounds for G2. Unless he can clutch it. He's no! going for it. He's got the first shot and he got the second as well. Zipix on Inferno never ceases to amaze. That's so sick. What was that shot? Welcome to the clutch. Up at number nine, we have the sick triple one deke play by the legend Cold Zero of SK Gaming. Relentless in his pursuit for more kills. Oh my god! Another headshot coming in, taking down Sipnix. SK was up by six and closing in on that point when they were forced to save. That didn't stop Cold Zero, however, from picking up the Deagle and taking down three guys in Boiler on Inferno. SK eventually won the round and crumbled Astralis' economy and took the second round matchup in the subsequent round. Trying to see if he can make it out. It's a nice shot from Cold Sierra. Relentless in his pursuit for more kills. Oh my god! Another headshot coming in, taking down Sipnix. How does he even do it? Coming in at number eight, we have the very quick quad kill at Banana by Skadoodle of Cloud9. To allow you to charge in, but Skadoodle is back again. Three kills for him, and Stewie is lying in wait in case he is required, but Skadoodle says no, looking for the ace now. Big was up 11 to two on the T side of Inferno, but that didn't stop Skadoodle yeah. from pulling off his great play. Skadoodle aggressively peeked down Banana, got one pick, and then fell back to Sandbags, where he got three more before being denied the ace. Cloud9 ended up losing the round two match and was eliminated in the tournament despite multiple heroic plays from Skadoodle. Him, and Stewie is lying in wait in case he is required, but Skadoodle says no, looking for the ace now. Not quite, 4K again for Skadoodle, he's gonna rue that one. So close to two lovely aces is Skadoodle. Next at number seven, we have the crazy 1v4 clutch by Electronic in the opening match of the Major. W's round, three kills for him. They line up for Electronic though. And a 1v2, <laughs> and another one! 1v1! Flipside forced into the round, knowing Fnatic's economy was weak and desperately needing a round. Flipside had executed onto a site on Mirage, where they were promptly shut down by the Fnatic defense, which left Electronic in a 1v4. And surprisingly one-tapped the weakened JW in jungle, Electronic eventually killed off Olaf Meister with a P250, clutching the round for his team. Still got nine bullets in the mag, and will he find the shot? The pressure is on here for Olaf Meister, and Olaf Meister, he's down to 23 HP. This is Electronic fighting for his team, and he will get the clutch at the end. Unbelievable. Rolling in at number six, we have a quad kill in the pistol round of a newly crowned major champion, Hobbit. And Zeus will start things off. Just trade kills all over the place until Hobbit shows up and gets a trip on quad. Okay then, Hobbit. Playing G2 in the second round of the group stage, Gambit quickly executed onto A site cash and planted the bomb. Hobbit was playing the post plant at quad, but little did he know what was coming his way. Within five seconds, Hobbit shut down the G2 retake by getting four quick headshot kills with the Glock. Gambit went on to dominate G2, finishing the group stage undefeated. The man is here to play. He's drawn out Sting, he's wearing his mithril armor, and he has got a quest on his hands, Anders, and that quest is victory right here. Coming in hot at number five, we have another quad kill by Skadoodle in the 1v5, this time playing North on Mirage. It's being had anyway. Skadoodle now, last man, one versus four. They know where he is, but can they kill him? Almost a headshot, but not quite. Config goes one by one. There's so many of them, but they're picking one at a time. Skadoodle with a lovely fast shot. How is this happening? It's down to one on one. 
Skadoodle pulled off another fantastic play. Cloud9 was rushing out onto A site on Mirage and were denied immediately by the defense of North, leaving Skadoodle in a 1v5. The American Opera killed one default quickly before turning his scope to stairs to get another. Skadoodle then jumped onto Tetris, where he killed another on site and no scoped one that jumped from stairs. Even though Skadoodle was eventually killed and didn't win the round, the economic damage he dealt to North was a main factor in Cloud9 winning the opening matchup. The odds are ridiculous, this is impossible! But Magix is coming in from the back. Skadoodle seems to know, but Magix sees him in the smoke. What a ridiculous performance. But North, they went in one by one. It was like single file. Now it's your ticket to come in and get wrecked by Skadoodle. This time at number four, we have a 1v4 clutch by Pasha in the semifinals versus Immortals. Rom's down and connected. There's the first kill. Something to build upon, but I'm not believing just yet. Up against the double orbs. And all right, now we've got a chance. After Virtus Pro was shut down at mid, Pasha was left all alone by Ladder Room on Mirage. He quickly one-tapped Steel at the bottom of mid and then proceeded to burst down KNG at Triple Box from Connector. Pasha then walked onto A site, where with a nasty flick he was able to find Lucas. Lucas oh, just barely goes under the crosser. Walks in when he looks away. What a shot! What a shot from Pasha! Six HP! Plants as open as he possibly dare in the site. He then outsmarted Hen, resulting in an easy kill, sending the home crowd into a frenzy. Even though Virtus Pro ended up being eliminated, Pasha's raw aim and incredible game sense gave the Polish crowd something to cheer about. Pasha needs patience, and he spotted. He knows he's not on it, gets him in the open! Going in at number three, we have another insane play from Hobbit during the third map of the Grand Finals versus Immortals. He gets shut down, but Hobbit's got to find two more. Oh, Save angle! No! Save angle! Oh my god, Hobbit! Gambit were unsuccessfully holding a post plant on B site Inferno in a crucial round in the Grand Finals. Already with one kill, Hobbit was left in a 1v3 just outside of sight by Coffins, with every player coming from Graveyard. Hobbit quickly headshot the first player, Lucas, before spraying down both Steel and KNG in what was arguably the play of the playoffs. As you know, Gambit went on to win the match and the major, mainly because of the 1v3 clutch in a crucial round by Hobbit. What was that? It seemed like every clutch has fallen apart for Gambit so far. Immortal, the retakes have been so strong. Next, at number two, we have a quad kill by KNG as Immortals were retaking B site overpass versus Navi. The double orb is in a play and it's the retake as well. It's so hard to do, but KNG gets a kill. Trying again. Henny tapping the bomb a single time. KNG getting one more frag. It's now a triple for him and Flamey's on the other side denying the bomb. Hiding in the corner. KNG picking it up for the clutch and the defuse, absolutely ridiculous. KNG made his way to the toxic barrels and then no scoped guardian just below him. He then killed a blinded simple and monster before making his way back up to sight to no scope Edward as he emerged from the smoke. Now in a 1v1, KNG again no scoped an enemy, this time Flamey at sandbags to win the round versus Navi in a round three group stage match. KNG displayed numerous great plays throughout the tournament, but it wasn't enough for immortals as they fell short in the grand finals. How does that work? Retaking double up against what? Four AKs. And finally, at number one, we have an ace from the best player in the world. Toward Atrium taps and goes quick. Cold Zero is quicker. Gets a second as well as the bomb will go down and follows it up. They're all lining up. Cold Zero with an ace. In a five to five tied round three game versus Big, Cold Zero was waiting arches as the players from Big started streaming in. Within the span of a couple seconds, Cold Zero had killed the entire Big team without missing a shot. SK went on to win the remaining rounds in the half, but Big Big eventually overpowered them. My God, he does seem to be the king of Inferno generally, not in a specific area. What a performance that was. This video was written by Spreads. Go follow him on Twitter at Spreads15 underscore. You can see it on screen right now and let him know if you agree or disagree with this list or just simply leave a comment with your opinion. I shouldn't even be allowed to touch this game anymore. I mean, ever. Thank you guys so much for staying until the end of the video and thank you to CSGO Empire for sponsoring it. As always, we're doing a few bets at the end of the video on CSGO Empire and I've been pretty, pretty trash lately. Good heavens. Here we go. I'm gonna regret everything again. We're putting 50 on CT because look, T's been played twice in a row. So it's gotta be CT. And if I'm wrong, I'm gonna cry. Please. 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 And you see, this is why I lose. <laughs>
This is why I lose. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't I don't even know how to recover from this. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Guys, we're down to 100 coins. I shouldn't touch this ever again. Oh my gosh. I'm just I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. This is it. This is it, boys. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh. It's got to be CT again. This is the last bet of the video. If we lose this, I'm just going to quit everything. I'm going to quit everything. Okay. Okay. We made 50 profit. We can work off of this. Thank you guys for staying. I'll see you in the next video.